In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my live training session. We're looking at S&P 500 and mini futures. The time frame is 2000 tick chart. And I'm going to be relying on pure price session, which means I'm not using indicators. I'm reading the candles as they are printing on the chart. I have only one indicator. This is a supportive indicator only. The blue line is the 21 bar exponential moving average. Now the structure of the market is unfolding and it is telling me that we have a bullish trend. We have series of higher lows, higher highs. And I'm looking for channels because there's always a channel being present on a chart in every single market. So I'm going to connect the lows to have as many confirmations as I can. And this right here right now will serve to me as a key entry point. And this will dictate that the uptrend is still in play. So right now I'm looking for high priority setups to go long. All right. So the price session formed overshoot and I need to respect the short and downtrend. You can see there's a correction right now being in play in the markets. For me to go long, I will want to see a push above EMA, a felt second entry short. I was also thinking about drawing a wider channel like this with an overshoot, equally as valid. But right now, since the downtrend was quite strong, it makes sense to draw overshoot, expect break new extreme, and then a felt second entry short above exponential moving average. We'll see. So you can see that we have a new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short, but the failure is yet to form. So at this point, I'm waiting for big bullish bar closing above the EMA. But it's getting a little bit congested, so there's a chance that we may create new of the downtrend first before we're going to reverse higher. I got to be patient. I cannot rush things, even though I expect prices to continue working higher. I want to see local price action to offer me a good high quality setup. So the market formed the second leg. We have a first leg down, correction, second leg down, move to a new extreme. So the bearish momentum played out. However, overshoot can sometimes generate the stronger momentum right into reversal. But I'm mainly focusing still on the bullish bias. So if I see push above EMA and a fell second entry short, I will consider. If we retrace too much down due to the overshoot, I will have to adapt and draw a wider bear downtrend. I'm resuming the video as we have a spike and a channel in play. We have a close outside, which according to trend line rules, we expect new extreme. So I was looking for second entry long to like a pullback. But as you can see, we only had a first entry long that already created new extreme without a good high probability setup. So, so far, I'm just sitting here watching the price action develop. Not that many setups. We just can see overshoot, massive spike down, overshoot, massive spike up. All right, traders, I'm resuming the video as I entered a felt second entry lo long and we got filled. So I'm going to instantly move my stop loss to break even. And you can see I got a little bit lucky here because I wanted to use the stop order, but I managed to even use two ticks below. But what I was looking at, new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. I scalped six contracts, leaving one contract as a runner in case Marcus does something unexpected because we have a break. Two legs to a new extreme of this uptrend, which is indicating to me that the uptrend played out according to trend line rule. We have triple test forming, which is indicating accumulation of the sell orders. And we have a new high, but I'm going to reset the count. First entry long, pull back, second entry long failure, right below EMA, right off the key entry point after the uptrend played out. So this is a reversal pattern. This is indicating to me that the bull second entry long are going to get trapped. Why? Because uptrend played out and you managed to get a quick scalp. I took a little bit smaller scalp because of course, I use the stop order entry, but let's see if we can get some runner here. All right, we are one tick away from getting stopped out on our runner, but this was our first trade for the day. New high, the first entry long pullback, second entry long failure, reversal pattern. All right, traders, and our runner just got hit. We are at the top of the trading range. I don't really see good high probability setup because I've turned played out with the break new extreme. The downtrend didn't get new extreme, which was quite surprising. I was looking for a second entry short. We have somewhat of a bullish imbalance, but the bias is very neutral. I don't really want to go long directly at the highs. So at this point, pretty much I'm still patient. We have a second entry long and I felt second entry short, which is very tempting because we have two like a pullback to the EMA. But I just can't really go long into these highs. There is some resistance that is proven. We rejected here and here. So you feel that it's going to push higher. This uptrend needs to get new high. But since we don't have a bigger uptrend working higher, I just pretty much have to skip this. We have a second entry short off the trend line. 
but there is still quite a gap between the candle and the EMA so I can't really take it had it closed much closer to the EMA I would have definitely considered because it was still part of the new high first entry long pullback second entry long failure kind of similar to what happened here just that this time we were further away from EMA and we had possible overshoot so I had to be a little bit more careful all right traders I'm back I took a break the market didn't really do much we had a decent second entry short with the break new extreme and at the resistance but as I'm looking at the chart the momentum was so strong that you probably didn't even get a chance to catch it but this was a nice second entry short right at the range highs and right now we have a spike break new extreme and the price action is consolidating at the range highs again so pretty much the price action is stalling a lot not that many setups but let's see if I can squeeze one more setup prices broke above the important key level the uptrend played out with the break new extreme and right now I'm expecting for prices to break below EMA and offer me a felt second entry long reversal pattern I expect for prices to go back into this trend range eventually so let's see if we get a push below EMA and a felt second entry long prices keep continuing working higher we have a spike the very first type lag and sort of like a consolidation so I'm looking for a spike in a channel pattern but once again we have overshoot overbought territory so we can expect stronger pullback in the opposite direction so right now if there's going to be second entry long to EMA I most likely have to skip it due to the overshoot all right so I'm resuming the video as I'm going to take the second entry short new low first entry short pullback second entry short right to EMA the downtrend needs to get new extreme the downtrend is fairly nice to confirm the uptrend also created a break and a new extreme which is indicating to me that the bullish correction played out and we have the high priority setup that we're looking for it is a clear tool like a pullback with the direction of the trend which is down we're at the key entry point at the EMA and the signal bar is a solid bearish bar we didn't take above this bull bar but because this bear bar is so big closing below the bull bar I'm willing to risk it but it looks like we may not even get filled here come on pull back a little bit I don't want to chase it that much we don't have room before these lows but it looks like I have to cancel the order because the scalp was already made all right traders I'm gonna wrap it up with my one single trade as you can see the downtrend ended up creating a break new extreme according to trend line rules so there's a textbook high priority setup to finish the day with just that we didn't get filled so as a price action trader you're always looking for channels and here we can see that our first uptrend just had an overshoot notice how far are you from EMA this is a depletion and today is a perfect example of many overshoots so remember after you see overshoot you can expect stronger momentum in opposite direction this is overbought or oversold territory I don't need any indicator all I can do is just read a price action and see how much of a depletion this is and how far away from EMA you are so you can expect stronger momentum and it's important to understand the fact that you may not get the new extreme tested this is the only exception or one of the few exceptions to channel line rule where you may not get new extreme tested so you can see it can straight up reverse and here you can see the downtrend ended up not getting new extreme as well I marked this high low as quite aggressive but after you have a two legged pullback and a push above EMA and EMA is holding alongside with the breakout area it's a breakout pullback it's now the sign that the bulls are back in the market but then you have a long time without a good high probability setup which you only have first entries and not even fully touching the EMA you saw me taking this trade and notice once the EMA is starting to flatten this is indicating that we have price swings up and down up and down so I'm trying to predict a train range the market cycle is shifting so my goal is to identify the key levels the support the resistance and you have to be careful selling directly into the lows and buying directly into the highs for this reason I avoided this second entry long because just because it's a tool like a pullback doesn't mean I can go long directly into a proven key level and we have a little bit of a lower high breakout pullback because of a consolidation here we broke lower came back tested it which potentially you can take but I would prefer a felt second entry long then we had a nice second entry short new low first entry short second entry short right off the highs of the resistance the main key entry point where all the sellers will start selling also the uptrend played out with the break new extreme and then you can see you have a spike break new high but you also have a downtrend full by a break new extreme which is indicating that the sellers are not reversing the market because you already have a break new low 
and EMA is holding, you have a push above EMA, and here you have very strong high low of the EMA, great tier one signal bar confirming the second entry long. So once you have a break new high, you don't want to take the second entry long. But if you have high low confirmation and EMA keeps holding, that's a sign that the bulls are in the market and you can consider the high low high probability setup. But there's a little gap. So if you use limit order, you probably didn't get filled. Another overshoot. So once again, no surprise, we didn't read this new extreme because here you're combining not only the overshoot, so you expect stronger bearish momentum, but you're combining also the price action train range rule, which says that most breakouts will fail. And this was the breakout of the train range. However, you can't really pick a top because we have a spike in a channel and everything is above EMA. So this is so seamless. You cannot pick a top. You need to see push below EMA and reversal pattern, which never formed. If you're looking for a new high of this uptrend, you cannot go long unless you have a push above EMA. Because of the overshoot and the range pattern, as long as you're below EMA, you don't know how many push below there's going to be. So only after push above EMA and a first second entry short, you can expect for prices creating new extreme. And after the price is traded all the way down back into the trend range, you have to adapt to a wider channel. It is very confirmed. Trend is down. And this was the last textbook high probability setup at the key entry point while the downtrend is new extreme and the new low was formed. So fairly slow day, but as you can see, there are a couple of setups that you can find and capitalize on. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.